Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Freddy Acosta. Uh, this will be our very first uh, video for this channel. Okay, so if you are new to this channel and if you are interested on the topics that we're going to discuss in this channel, uh, I invite you to subscribe and click that uh, notification bell so that now every time we have a new video, you will be notified immediately. All right, and don't forget to like and share as well. So my name is Dr. Freddy Acosta. I'm a senior lecturer at Strathmore Business School. I teach uh, technology management, innovation management, and operations management. So for today's video, we're going to discuss about the philosophy of technology. Now, this is just an introductory uh, presentation so that now uh, you will have an idea of how you're going to view technology uh, basing on your personal life or even in in your business all right so by introduction we say that the philosophy of technology is a subfield of philosophy wherein we study the nature of technology and its social effects all right so there are two major philosophies that uh, we can uh, base our decisions based on technology all right so one of those philosophies is uh, determinism and the other one is instrumentalism so determinism believe that technology is an autonomous force that shapes society meaning that uh, once a technology is released it will have a life of its own and it will dictate how we will live our lives and how we will run our businesses and our companies for example um suppose you're about uh, 100 meters away from your house right and you realize that you left your cell phone at home how many of us by the way would turn back and get that mobile phone how many of us will continue and say you know it's just a phone i can live a day without it i'm sure many of us will go back and uh, uh, get that phone because it's quite difficult for us to already you know survive a day without that, that mobile phone all right so that's the view of the determinist okay it's a force that shapes society on the other hand the antithesis of that is instrumentalism instrumentalists believe that technology is just a tool and still under the control of human beings all right in fact uh, many people believe that technology is adapted to serve the purpose of the business. All right. So the implication of that is, you know, between the two philosophies, suppose there's a new technology. Are we going to be early adopters of that technology or are we going to wait? Of course, there are advantages and disadvantages of early adoption, and there are also advantages and disadvantages of late adoption, all right? So what should be our approach to technology? What I'm suggesting is that in, in many of the companies that were in, I provided advice, all right? I always tell managers to have a happy compromise we can be instrumentalists and determinists at the same time. What do I mean with that? Well, uh, instrumentalists in a way that, you know, you know, technologies are implemented, developed, adopted by managers to serve the purpose of the business, All right? So if we encounter a problem, and we want to solve that problem, maybe we can adapt a technology. At the same time, we should be open to the influences of technology 
and see if we can find opportunities wherein we can take advantage of the market. All right? So two things. We cannot be complacent. We cannot be in instrumentalists always. All right? We will be irrelevant in no time. We cannot also be determinist most of the time. Why? Because maybe there are technologies out there that are very expensive and they're not yet proven in the market, we will end up spending so much money for technologies with no uh, value at all, all right? So that's my advice to, to everybody. So now again, uh, what we are going to do in this channel, we will, I will just be giving you tidbits of my presentation. Uh, every time I, uh, I make a, a presentation to my MBA class and to my executive students, okay? So with that, I would like to end here. And uh, if you are new to this channel, again, I invite you to subscribe uh, and then hit that notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will be notified immediately. I hope you have uh, learned something today, all right? So, and if you want to learn more, I invite you to come and join us at Strathmore Business School. We have so many programs for you. We have degree programs and we have also executive programs. So, that's it for today. Enjoy the rest of your day and may God bless us all.